What I want to show you in this video is a deceptively simple example where we have right x equals t squared and y equals t to the 4 as a Cartesian equation. Now this one doesn't look too difficult when we compare it with uh, the previous video because ultimately what you could do is you could say, right, well, if t squared is equal to x from there, then I could substitute that directly into the y equals t to the 4 and say, well, y is equal to t squared squared, and so y is equal to x squared. OK, and that would be it. However, there is a problem, as you might have guessed from me setting up this example. Um, x equals t squared and y equals t to the 4 isn't quite y is equal to x squared. Now, the reason why is because if I sketch y is equal to x squared, then what I get is this parabola here where x values, as you can see, can either be positive or negative. Okay? So, as the x values can be both positive and negative, that must mean that this can also be both positive and negative if they were to describe exactly the same curve. Now, can t, if x can be negative, can t squared be negative? And the answer is, well, no. t squared can't be negative. Um, unless t were a complex number or an imaginary number. So that wouldn't make much sense in the context that we're looking at it. So ultimately, what that means is that this isn't the whole story. This is not the curve as stated by those two parametric equations. It becomes a little bit more apparent if you draw out a um, short table looking at particular values. So if I looked at um, minus 2, minus 1, uh, 0, 1, and 2, and I got my x and y values. Now, when, x, uh, when t is minus 2, sorry, we get x is 4. Uh, when t is minus 1, we get 1. We get 0, 1, and 4 there. When t is minus 2, then we have y being equal to 16. When t is minus 1, we get uh, y is equal to um, 1. We'll get 0 there, 1, and 16. Okay? So if I was then going to plot these pairs of points much like we did uh, in the first video on this, we would have 4, 16, which would be that point there. We'd have 1, 1, so that would be that point there. We'd have 0, 0, which would be that point. Then we'd have 1, 1 again. Then we'd have 4, 16 again. So essentially, as t is changing, as it's going from negative to positive, the coordinate that's on the curve as t gets closer to 0, goes along this curve, gets to that point, but then when t goes into positive values, the coordinates go back up in that direction. And so, this side of the curve does not exist. Okay, And this is the shape of the curve given by that pair of parametric equations. It's likewise equal to x squared, but actually, it's only half of it. 